Uh, Tell us about you. it. Yeah, it's amazing. So uh, it's a campaign, uh, it's a fabulous organisation, and they've got everybody involved from Kendall Jenner to Willow Smith, um, uh, Zoe Kravitz, and the idea is to encourage young people to be cool, to be nice. And mm. so, yeah, it's a fabulous How? campaign. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a book that goes with it. Mm -hmm. And it's a kind of a toolkit that shows you what you can do and, and, and how your words impact people. And it's really interactive. They've got sort of a Snapchatty bit. So, yeah, it's very cool. It, it's really important. I'm trying to be cool. Down with yeah. the kids. <laughs> yeah. It's really important to sort of get the, the social media side mm. of things on board. Because while, you know, the, the book side of it is great. I've had yeah. a look at it. And mm. I think my nearly 11-year-old will Ooh. really get a, a, yes. a, a lot out of that. Yeah. But the sort of... Between ages and, and teenagers, teenagers, I think it's yes. more apps that totally. they're involved with. Rather and they've than got a whole Snapchat copy. component that allows you yeah. to do that. And mm. that sort of, and the, the 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 idea of it is the bears come alive on your phone. It's really oh, cool. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Why do you think it's got so bad? Do you know what? I don't know. I think the internet, in one way, has made things better. But, you know, we've talked about this a lot. Yeah. In another way, it's made it worse. So yeah. you can actually troll people and yeah. be distant from exactly. it. I, see what I, I think mean? Yeah. it is. And we've all experienced yeah. trolling. Even as adults, we get bullied. Because mm. bullies, at the end of the day, they're, they're, they're not brave. No. They, you know, they hide behind a group of people. It's very rare that you'll get, like, one person. Yeah. You get this, like, gang. So, one, so now, with the being hiding behind a device, you're even more shrouded and... Yeah. and you know, and your identity is not out there. Well. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yes. And the, problem, the thing is, is on on a lot of things like Instagram and that, you're you're always being encouraged to like. Yeah. And you know, so it's it is all about do you like me? Don't you like me? Yeah. And well, I must say, I'm very proud of my Alistair, who's just, just turning 12, because I think he's he's cool and, and nice. nice. Yeah. He's, um, <laughs> he's, just, he's just set up um, this YouTube account, which I wasn't sure was a good idea. Mm. I said, well, mummy has to look at everything before you post it. But in fact. Um, it's so lovely because he had. A, a, it's all about football, and he and he takes the Mickey out for himself. He does penalties with high heels, and so it's, it's kind of a joke. And this this young girl had left him a message mm. and said, "Oh, you've really made my day. I've been feeling so miserable this week. My boyfriend dumped me, Aww. and these girls are being saying I'm fat and ugly. And you've really made me happy by watching this video." And Alistair replied back, going, "Look, don't listen to those bullies. You're better than them. Rise mm. above it. You're not ugly." And well you done, know, Alistair. So you've managed to also find the time to write your own book. I have, yes. Tell us about that. I will. Thank you very much. Uh, it's called Diversify, uh, Six Degrees of Integration. Uh, and it's all about how we get beyond the things that keep us apart. So how okay. we move beyond our own prejudices and how you better uh, connect with the other. So yeah, I've really enjoyed writing it. And there's lots of sort of research, but it's also very accessible. One of the things I think that's so interesting interesting about this concept June is is the other yes because mm -hmm. we operate in our own little sphere oh, and we have yeah. our own our own thoughts and processes that have come from our own experiences mm. and our own influences and we might think of ourselves as ex I'm extremely broad-minded there's mm. no way that I could possibly be, yeah. be prejudicial against yeah. anyone and you you have a good example of I this, thought the you? same of myself so I was filming many years ago um, in America and there was this young guy who appeared on set with um, tattoos and he was like Quite, I thought he was from a gang. And, you know, I, we've always thought I grew up on the council estate, so it wasn't like I wasn't used to men like him, but just not in that context. And I felt so strange around him and was behaving oddly towards him, and it was yeah. the elephant in the room. And in that moment, it made me understand this issue from the other side, because mm -hmm. as a woman of colour, we've always spoken about this stuff on the show, mm -hmm. yeah. I always see myself as maybe being on the receiving end and never thought that I was actually capable oh, of doing it yes. myself. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what made me want to explore or the, the issue in the book. But also, I mean, it's, I think it's an important point to make because we were talking about um, the whole transgender issue yes, last week. Yes. And we were saying, you know, it sometimes is difficult to keep up with all of the, the terms. sort of terms yeah. and this, that, and the other. And, you know, it, it is about understanding that people do make mistakes yeah. and it's not always coming from a bad place. Most of the time it isn't. Yeah. 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 And we're all a product of, of our environment and our, you know, how we've been raised. And generations. Yes. Yeah. But, but like you say, the not knowing which what word to use is the correct one. I, I was in the shop the other day and I was trying to describe <clears throat> a shop assistant that was yeah. helping me the day before and they said, what did, what did they look like? I said, well, it was a man. He was tall. He was. I was afraid to say he was black. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's As black, a black white... person, you can say that. Oh, <laughs> can you say it? Let me hear you say it. Black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but interestingly, you just described.
describe yourself as a woman of colour. Yes. And for yes. me, that's a very American thing yes. that yes. now seems to be coming yeah. here. Yeah, well, it's so broad, is isn't it? Yeah, mm. and so, and I think people do get confused yeah. with what's yeah. going to be offensive. Should yeah. I say, is he, well, he was a coloured man, he was no, a black man. No, never coloured, black, black, you can black. say. Yeah, black. Or African American. You know, I just uh, yeah, didn't want to be good. rude or offend anyone, oh, you're but not. it's. Yeah. yeah, but this is why we need to have these conversations. Because in the book, I talk about everything trans, all of your book is about as well, the isms. Yes. Which is, of course, because we were having this conversation mm. this morning, and I said mm. to Penny, it's not, you know, it's not describing somebody saying, well, they're black. It's if you describe that in a pejorative t yes. way, or if yes. you link it to something. Yes, you know, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and we and we have on the website, which is um, diversify.org, a test where you can actually calculate your, your isms. isms. Yeah. yeah, and I think it's about not being embarrassed. I mean, most of us don't know, and it's how we move beyond that.